Alright guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon X and Y Soul Link Nuzlocke. I'm staying it's with Ghost. And it's... I almost forgot, but I got it this time. Standing right outside the town, so let's explore that today, and then... Ooh, hit an item already. Yay. Pretty wing. And I'll ex Oh, um... I was told in my comments I already named the Pokemon something, so I gotta rename it, but I think I'll do that off or uh, off camera on the next, because I've got a migraine today, so I cannot think up names. <laughs> if I said let you become a Pokemon, would anyone want to do that? Wow, this swamp is so deep you can actually surf in it. Oh, you're on the other side of town? Yeah. I already 100% explored it. Yeah. I burned a lot in that damn cave. It took us two episodes to get out of that stupid cave. I actually didn't burn near as many as I thought I would. Changing your hairstyle is like a form change for people. Interesting. Is this town talking about form changes? Did I manage to... Aw. a hidden item on the train tracks? Well then. Isn't that dangerous? Two normal types versus my two ghost types. That's actually quite funny. There's a lot of hidden items just right at the entrance of this town. Holy crap. Benno shock. Captivate. Wait, does that pretty wing keep repeat reappearing? Uh, I think possibly. you had the same thing. Yeah. I, I had the, the honey center, keep reappearing. A burn heal, not too bad. Nice little waterfall. Little uh area. Holy crap, I didn't realize this part is over top of a waterfall. Who would ever want to sit here? If this dock collapsed, you'd go down the waterfall. Like the story of the Magikarp climbing the waterfall. <laughs> As a Magikarp comes onto my lower screen. Far away town. Town connecting differences. There we go. Tauros. That Tauros must die first since I couldn't get mine. <laughs> You have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle. No, I don't. Wish I were a Pokemon that I could live every day with him. Wow. Hmm. This kind of sucks. Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of it. Goodbye, Twister. Oh, what move you learn? Uh, Aqua Tail. Oh, hello, Professor Creepy. Or Professor Dick. I have an apology. <laughs> I have to apologize to you about Lysander. I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all the Pokemon and people of this world. Wow, so I save your ass. Then you, you're like, man, I'm really glad I gave him a Pokemon now. I'd be dead otherwise. <laughs> Stopping Team Flair, you also saved Lysander. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. Maybe someday the population of People and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. While living things kept acting that keep acting that way, there'll be nothing left at all in the end. Why there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? Wow. I think he's trying to teach us some morals. What I really wanted for him to put aside his ego and lead everything to greater heights. I never had the discussion with him though, so I'm partially responsible. Yes, yes you are. You and your Pokemon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. Oh, I see what you said about an unexpected battle. <laughs> All right, Jackass. I think I've got counters to most of the stuff you can throw out, so. You, you'll instantly know what his team is from his first Pokemon. Yeah, didn't he? He fought me with all three starters before. Now they're just final forms. But he gave them away. Um, 
nature power is in this area. That makes no sense to me, though. He gave away all three starters, so how did he get three more? Oh, they just have infinite numbers. Ooh, yes, paralyzing the Venusaur. Oh, yeah, Petal Blizzard meat. That'll totally work on a Grass Poison type. Ten damage. You know, for being a Pokemon professor, he's not very good at battling with Pokemon. Oh, my God, I do not like this swamp anymore. Yay, I get to go to a swamp next, because everybody loves swamps. That's why they're in every game. All right, what are you going to throw in next? Charizard, all right. If you're going to put in a Charizard... Push the rock. Okay, Morty has flash fire, so half of the stuff Charizard can use is going to be useless. Toxic plate. I don't think Charizard naturally learns any move that's good against dark types, so. Um, I can Shadow Ball him. Or Beat Up and Crunch. I think Beat Up's probably the best. Get that metronome up to put to good use. I gotta admit, his Charizard is fairly fearsome. Flamethrower, thanks for boosting my... F he really is a shit professor. Like, he should have known my thing's ability from the Pokedex data, the little bit that we've given him on a Nuzlocke run. But no, he uses Flamethrower against a Houndoom with Flash Fire. Hmm. Ow. I almost want to use the same type Pokemon against each one of his just to prove that all of mine are superior, but... <laughs> um, that might be a bad idea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was, I was gonna say otherwise it'd be level 42 Zoidberg against his level 50 Blastoise. Um, How'd you get yours up to 42 already? Are you, like, switch training it? No, I just have an East, uh, the egg on it and whatnot. I, had to, I switched him in before the uh, Lysander battles and stuff. So that hole going down the staircase uh, and stuff, I had trainer battles. Have a seed bomb. Sam's second um, battle debut. Aqua Tail. Wow. Yeah, Sam's got some decent defense. That's nice to see. And Sam two shots it. Smick. Sam leveled up. Nice. Also, according to what people said, looking at the stats, apparently I have a, like, smaller side one, because I've got a faster one without as much health. Strong binds by spending time together and caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are strong. That, and we're not dumbasses when we fight. Well, most of the time. <laughs> Uh, you found it simply marvelous. You truly love and trust your Pokemon. Treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you'd like it, try to find it. A little surprise planned for all of you to thank you for fighting Team Flare and saving Kalos. Wait, all of you? Literally, the only thing the other guys did is run in and pull off one guy in that final. Uh, in all fairness, she did uh, help you go down there. She did there. hack the door, yeah. Well, no, not her. The rest the... of them did nothing. Your rival, Kalem, or whatever. Oh, he, yeah. Uh... He was helping you fight most of the time. And then they're like, Ah, oh, God, this one's useless. I better go save her. Oh, oh, oh. We got a hidden item up here. Pokeball. That damn well better not be the hidden the special item. For... You I are... something in the town. Well, you are a very strange person. Why would you swim in the... Swamp? It just sounds like a very bad idea. Does the item finder even work on uh, Sycamore's item? No. Okay, so I'm just going to mash A button and randomly wander the town. All right. Uh, I can tell you where it is. It's nothing. It's not an item. <laughs> it, it's the biggest screw you ever. And that was dumb of me. Very, very dumb. I forgot your electric type. Oh, what did you get? Don't 
when you get them killed. No, I just switched in a flying type to an electric type because right, it's done. I don't find just... it on this past the town. <laughs> oh, this is truly entertaining. All right, you want to just tell me where it is? Not like uh, the happened. train. Tr it's not the train track where the benches are. It's in between, I think, two of the benches. Oh, that, that was the Pokeball I just grabbed. No, uh, actually, the the older lady. Um, she if you, I think it's like a couple down and a couple right to her of her. I am just mashing away and literally not finding anything. Um, give me a second so I can explain it better. <laughs> no, I, I'm up to the train station. I see the old lady. And I, I was going to say, this better be worth it, but you've already told me it's not, so... I have two of the TM for you turn. Here, I'll share one with you. Oh, thank you. Wow, you had to talk to her twice to get her item. One good U-turn deserves another. Uh... So you went in between the benches and... I got a Pokeball earlier. Try clicking on the ground in between the benches. Yeah. Away. Let me go into the focus center. Oh, there it is. It's literally uh, in between the two benches. If you go down the, from the center of it, go down to the bottom and then literally where the, you'd be sitting if you took one step right. And it's on the ground there. Oh, it's a message written in neatly carved letters to the person reading this. What are you like now? Did you become what you wanted to be? For starters, was what was the person you wanted to become even like? I don't know, but it would be wonderful if you could boast that you're living Ishe to its fullest. To future Sycamore, from the Sycamore dreaming of the future. So he was a dick in the past and present. That was terrible. That was the lo most... That's not thing. treasure! <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe it's a treasure to him, but... I wouldn't even call that a treasure. That's a message. Yeah, it wasn't even like words of like super wisdom or anything. Also, why the hell would you be like, you should go check out the train station? You know, I hit it somewhere in this town. He is still a dick. <laughs> Lying to little kids. Failing to save the world. Sucking at Pokemon battles even though he's a, somehow a professor. Like, his degree should be revoked. In the album, you see pictures that make you remember the excitement you felt at the time. In Dendemi Town, you can take make new... Pick and remember moves they once knew. Okay. I don't think I have a rappel on right now, so... Yes, I visited the art museum. It takes forever to get through the damn place. <laughs> Guess you, you get the Fennekin quiz. True or false? Is Fennekin height 104? Um, uh, no. Too bad. Guess you don't notice things as much as I would... How am I supposed to know? Fennekin's been dead forever. Don't you feel guilty? It's been a ball oh, too. Keep retaking it. Fennekin's weight twenty pounds. No, my Fennekin. Wow. Okay. Where are you taking this quiz at? Because I don't remember that quiz. Down straight south of town. It's the woman in the center. I'm so glad that I can. Oh, I'm so glad you got it right. Here's your reward. I literally answered wrong as much as possible. Hey, I got a charcoal. Wow, that that'd be really great if <laughs> Fennekin was still alive. alive. Thanks for making me feel bad. You're all dicks. <laughs> Mimic, huh? It'll let you use the last move your Pokemon used in battle. Because what Mimics like to do is learn by copying other people. Okay. I like how they're, like, teaching me about, like, PP-ups and, you know, very basic things at nearly the end of the game. Like, thank you, game. This is useful. At least... 
it's not having you waste your moves if you think about it. Because you might have use it on a really crappy Pokemon at the start if they teach you about it. Mm. You have a Pokedex. Let me get, oh, Pokemon quiz. What does little Skelp disguise itself as? Um, help. T. Figure that out from the name. Hey, I got a Scald TM. Now that's a useful TM. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. Uh, Zoidberg can learn it though, because I think Zoidberg is a full. Yeah, you yeah, put ever. A full HM <laughs> uh... How mad would you be if I killed Gyarados? <laughs> Here, there's a waterfall that flows backwards somewhere in the world. Um, I don't think so. That's not physically Zoidberg possible. That question seriously. I feel like slacking off, it's my policy to stay in bed. At least you get rested, then. You're still slacking Ooh. off. Oh, crap. What? Fine. Mr. Bonding. <laughs> Stealth power decreases the chance of encountering wild Pokemon. Oh. You know, just like repels, except not as effective. That would have been a nice one to have gotten early in the game. Etchy Berry? Ooh, Sludge Bomb TM. How about Kerway Town's famous freshwater? $300 a bottle. Um, no. Only a pro can tell the difference in taste. Um, are you trying to market it to pros, or are you just saying it's tap water? Now, here's the question. They live near a swamp. Who would ever want to drink their special bottled water? Oh, I don't have the waterfall TM. Ugh. Also, I just realized something. I can't use rock. I can't keep rock smash on my uh, Zoidberg forever. I need to learn waterfall. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what Pokemon did you catch in the South route? Uh, Sligu. Let my dearest Furfrau lead the way on our walk. Came all the way from Kuramine City to here. My feet are killing me. That's what you get for letting it lead you on the walk. You should have been riding it. That thing's bigger than you. We'll pass through this gate. I love to imagine what kind of trainers they are because I sit here doing nothing. Like, what is your job, gate lady? Like, do you have any purpose other than saying, hey, the road is closed? Like, yeah, that must be the most boring job ever. Like, they're not checking passports. Also, the easiest job. Well, to be fair, she's probably just playing video games or something all day long. But she, it looks like she'd just be standing. Oh, damn it, it looks like I missed some stuff down. Or wait, is this a route that goes down below? No, I think I went up to get here. Didn't I? I want my item back, you little asshole. They used, no, no, I am at the low point. Okay. They used trick and stole my item. You get it back at the end of battle. Oh, I know. I want it back now. Time for a Pokemon battle is what the me from 10 seconds ago said. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have a Pumpkaboo too. Hmm. There we go. Risks Mimi and found its Black Sludge. The problem is, your Pumpkaboo is weak to Venoshock. Wow, like, unbelievably weak to Venoshock. Speaking of Venoshock, Azumarill will take this Venoshock for me. Oh, they're gonna send it another Pumpkaboo. Um, Morty, why don't you have at this one? Are they gonna have, like, a horde of Pumpkaboos? Actually, only has two Pokemon. Ah, so it's trying to show off the different sizes of them. I have a flamethrower. You may have more well, health, but your speed is still terrible. That was easy. Ooh. Arthur's level 66 now. Jeez, I did not think Aegislash would make it, to be honest. <laughs> my favorite one out of my team. Alright, so there's a counter area up there. 
Oh, is this? Oh, Are you at the hex girl this. right now? Um, just oh, I'm at the swamp. Start. Um. So where do you think would be the best place to go? To go to the flowers to the right or to the swamp for my encounter? Um, I think it's about the same Pokemon, but like better chances for one in the, you know. All right. Well, anything you suggest since you've been wandering around here? Uh, I have repels on. <laughs> I guess, yeah. That's where I got my sleep. I have plenty from. of water Pokemon, so I don't want to get anything from this one. Oh. What'd okay. you get? Okay. Um, Horde a Weeping Bell. Looks like you're catching a Weeping Bell. Yeah, so male or female? I don't think there's that gender difference, is there? No. Yeah, Holy shit, that's a big pump kaboo. I apparently missed that trainer, the one with the big pump kaboo. Wait. Wait, hold on. Are you telling me Ghost is going to have an Oddish line and a Bellsprout line? Yes. Apparently. You are the king of grass poison. Yeah. Also, apparently I'm using Earth Power. My, uh... Ah, your Stun Spore and your Poison Spore don't affect me, and your Acid does next to nothing. Interesting choice going orange for the Acid color, though. Yeah, I... It, it looks like Vomit. Like bit. the, uh, there's a little cliff to the right of the hex person though. You can jump down and get loot. It's hard to notice. Ah, sleep powder, poison powder, acid. Well, Mimi, obviously it was the correct choice for this catch battle. You can't what? even hurt me. Yeah, what sucks though is you can't like paralyze it or anything. Also, what it, sucks it's a is... It's weeping bell. It's not going to be that hard. Uh, yeah, well, that also sucks because it's attached to my dragon type. Wah. That's fine. You know, I don't think I've ever actually used a victory bell, like, ever. <laughs> I always had better grass Pokemon in Gen 1, and I don't think you really encounter weeping bells and stuff like that. Much actually, you would, you'd, you would see an Oddish... Or a bell sprout before you'd see any Oddish in Gen 2. Hmm. Oops. It was actually, um... I remember when I used to play Gold, it was, like, my favorite Pokemon because you'd catch it right before... Uh, you'd catch it in Bell Sprout Tower and then spend so long training it up. Yeah, you know, I kind of feel like good. I'm on a uh, Nickelodeon game show with how much orange slime keeps hitting me. Is it orange slime? I thought it was green slime. Yes, it yeah, is it orange. Is, it is green on... Their, their logo's orange, but the slime in all the old game shows they used to have was always green. Niv. Oh god, not you. No, go I away! Guess, I think that was literally their formula, was just throw green Dude. slime on contestants. Nope, what is it? We're go what? Okay then, I'm not- was not expecting you to challenge me to a battle. Lots of- It's a fluid that dissolves everything, except apparently other grass poison types. Alright, um... Hmm... What should I name it? Any good ideas? A... Victory Bell? Yeah. Uh, Poison Ivy, if you haven't used it already? Nah, I picked a male. Shit. Um... I have no clue. Time travel with acid, um... Poison or grass? Anyone from Digimon? Well, I already got Mimi, and then I had, uh, actually Sora is still sitting in the PC. Alive, no less. Um, acid. Finish the girls off, go Kari. <laughs> it's a male! Oh, it's a male. Yeah. Um. Bio Broly. What? Dragon Ball. There's multi-dimensions in that. And time travel. And you said acid. Well, have you seen the Bio Broly movie? Okay, no. No. Oh, well, I'll send you a. I'll send you an image. So how do I spell it then? B 
B-I-O space B-R-O-L-I-Y, not I. Bio Broly. Alright. Base what now? E Base B-R-O-L-Y. O-L-Y. You're welcome. It'd work much better for a muck, but you need acid. Oh, there we go. Ow. Hmm. That's not good. No, I forgot to put the repel on. You know... Ah, oh, there's a Sligu. For being super incompetent, you are actually doing very good against me right now. Also, holy crap, it's so weird seeing wild level 48 Pokemon. Just not something I expected to see. Can you, can you seriously stop using that move? It's hurting. I'm um, trying to die. There we go. Nice hit on oh, him. Oh, random. Oh, shit. You're a... Oh, never mind. You're the fairy type. Perfect. Mimi is actually out in front still. I was going to switch Mimi out, but it looks like I don't have to. I'm about to send in and Delph. And it looks like I do, because it's a Mr. Mime. Delphox is psychic, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it picks up psychic when it hits that stage. No. Is Delphox... Yeah, Delphox is the third stage. Yeah. Earthquake. Goodbye. Because it's fairy, I don't want to have Morty out. How's the ghost fairy stack up? What? Oh, ghost um... Fairy? Ghost against fairy. I would not have any clue. I haven't tried using it. Picard, tank I, the psychic. I believe psychic. it is neutral Damn. both ends. That's what I was thinking. I didn't want to risk it. Picard can handle it, Mr. Mime. That reminded me of our battle in Aquacord Town. The hell is roleplay? Oh, and it's Hi Shauna. Like I've ever seen that move used. What are you two up to? Nothing big. Well, you guys. You know, battling on a rope bridge probably wasn't the smartest idea. Especially when. Smash well, the ropes. <laughs> well, her. One of the Pokemon was a fire type. This is a rope bridge. Oh, wow. Yeah, fire type. Yeah, that's probably worse than the cut. <laughs> Hello, Let's Azumarill. Get... Have you had a seed bomb today? You can... haven't? Let me help out with that. Okay! <laughs> can you guys give me a second to heal, assholes? <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, what's going on? Like, like, multiple attacks at the same time? Like, trainer after trainer? Or... Yes. Hmm. Oh, the Azumar looks so sad when it fainted. This is not one Pokemon I wanted to fight either. It's a Talon Roma Flame. Um... <laughs> no, 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 no! You do not do that, you son of a bitch! You die now. Actually, Thunder Wave first because. Oh shit! Aromatisse was not. Damn it, I confused Aromatis and Floet. It may be the only thing that... Aha! It does save me. Psychic. Die from one hit. Oh, it did, thank god. It was a Talon Flame and it used th uh, Sword Dance. Wow. This Aromatis truly a mighty strategist using Flail at full HP. I never saw it coming. Crawdon. That's dark. Now here, the problem is, I can't heal. I believe Dark's weak to Fairy, right? Yes. Which was the mistake I just made, thinking I could get away with just burning something with my fire type. That's Ling Gleam, then. Goodbye. <laughs> I've tried to take as little damage as I can in this battle, since... I think there may be a third battle coming along. How far ahead of me are you? Jeez. I'm just exploring in the swamp, so... Alright, is the swamp the dead end, or is it the cliffside? Uh, the swamp uh, leads you back around. Okay, so I should have gone swamp first. I've got an HP up. That's good. Roserade, Grass Poison. Except HP ups are useless, because that's just a uh, Ooh. Eevee item, isn't it? Uh, which one? HP up? Yeah, that's an EV. The 
real useful one is the PPO. PPO, because you can't do that with easy training. It'd be kind of cool if you could. The, like, the more you use a move, it occasionally upgrades itself. That actually happens in the Mystery Dungeon series. Oh. It's good to see they're at least using the mechanics somehow. It gains more uses of the move, and also it gets stronger. Okay, so I need... Spells effect wore off, use another, yes. It's weird, but I don't get that down when I lose to you. Okay, so it looks like I have to head into the swamp in order to get over to the M on the cliff. Tierney asking someone to battle, what's up with that? Geo Senge Town made me think. If Nitz hadn't been there, I wouldn't be dancing now, that's for sure. That made me want to get to know Nitz better, and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. It's kind of selfish of me, I guess, but it's a, also a way of thanking him. So trying to kill my Pokemon is trying to thank me. Thank you! Double battle time! Time for the ultimate pairing of Mimi and Picard. We, before we do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. Thank you for being considerate! A Tauros and a Miltank? Oh, shit. That's a nasty pair. You're... Also, Intimidate is bullshit, because it hits both enemies. Uh, what is with Trevor's hair? It bugs me so much. It's like a hat. A helmet. Haha, <laughs> they both aimed at Picard. Well, thank you for healing me before you fought me. At least now I'm... full health at all my Pokemon. Oh, shit, I probably should have focused down one or the other. Ow, that hurts a little bit. Was not expecting to have this many fights in a row. Floor gears, that's the fairy type. Wow, Gyro Ball just sucks. I did no damage. Okay, we should be able to finish this off next turn. Let's see who fairy's type is best. Bear. Except mine is metal. Take this. Misty Terrain. Ooh, and I dodged a Swagger and a Gyro Ball. Why are they picking Whoa. up Whoa! Okay, Misty Terrain looks really cool. Is it a move? Or... Yeah. What's it do? It literally changes how the battle looks. So... Oh, does it give, like, ghosts a buff? Or... I, I'm guessing it's a Psychic Pokemon buff. Hmm. Aerodactyl. I, I guess a psychic Pokemon would be able to see through fog or something, or at least sense through fog. Fairy type, not psychic. Ah. Did I say Throughout psychic? All the power we could. If I said psychic, sorry. My... Wow. I did just what this. What the hell types are even in this swamp? No, who the hell was your starter Pokemon? If you have, like, Aerodactyl. Florges and I don't even remember what your other one was. Is there a trick to not sinking in the swamp? Because I don't know it. You don't, uh, just walk. Just randomly sink sometimes? There's still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? Well, I don't think I ever heard you worry about being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's thanks to what you learned from being with your Pokemon and with us, your friends. Are we already to happy sappy wrap-up time? Also, <laughs> random person in a bikini in the swamp. Don't you know there's leeches in the swamp? Like, actually, there are no... No, there are some leech Pokemon. Yep, sappy sappy wrap-up time. Friends are friends, well, no matter if you're near each other. Well, there's something we must attend to be seeing you. I feel kind of embarrassed in a swimsuit, so I like to swim in murky water like this to stay out of sight. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm just covered in leeches. With a stun fisk. Truly the most epic of Pokemon. This is from us. <gasps> Ooh! Go back to town, there's gotta be loot there. Just got the waterfall TM. Oh, Mud Bomb from Nature Power. Loot. That's a new one. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I can use Waterfall outside of gym yet, can I? Nope, we need Eighth Badge. Really? Fuck them. They just gave me it. <laughs> uh. Uh. So, you want to do the wrap up? 
Oh shit, are we already at that time? Damn. I barely got anywhere through the swamp and stuff. I literally just finished the route, apparently. There's a lot less trainers on it than you'd think. Ooh, Zoidberg wants to learn Crab Hammer, but he can't. <laughs> he's an HM slave. Because <laughs> nobody likes Zoidberg. I'm going to hit the Poke Center in the next town. Murky Water couldn't hide your battling weakness. No, no, it couldn't. Also, seriously, why do trainers, nearly at the end of the game, have one Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, seriously, give me a little bit of a challenge. Well, okay. to be fair, if they oh, had... Rare bone. Is that if... for Q-Bones? Uh, no, it just is a cell thing. Uh... It says on it, sell to, for a high price. Oh. Damn it, because actually, I think I have a Q-Bone. I do have a Q-Bone, I think. Yeah, you do. Damn. So... I have a cool, unique little item. Alright guys, well that's it for this episode, so I will continue exploring the swamp next time, but if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like down in the description below, check out Nitz's channel link, or my channel link if you're on Nitz's video, and we'll see you next time for another episode of X and Y Soul Link Nuzlocke. When I recover from meeting Mr. Bonding just now. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. Bye guys.